Good morning. My name is Mike Young. I'm a longtime employee here at Callahan's General Store. I'd like to talk to you this morning about something that's come up here recently. It's an ongoing problem we have in Central Texas, depending on the amount of rain we have. It's a parasite that attacks sheep and goats. It gets, uh, it's called a barber pole worm. The official name, the scientific name is Homacus contortus, but it looks like a barber pole when you see one under a microscope. It attacks the sheep and the goats. It gets in their fourth stomach, which is the abomasin, and it causes serious anemia and debilitation, and then ultimately death if they're not treated. We, the more it rains, the worse these, these worms get, and we're seeing a lot of that right now. People are coming in every day with goats that are either seriously uh, ill or, or dying. So I'd like to talk to you today about what to look for, what signs to look for, and then what about what we can do to treat it. We've gone through, typically when these outbreaks happen, we go through a number of wormers. The wormers become ineffective, the, the worms get immune to them or whatever happens. We have to go down to a certain, go through two or three wormers to get to where we want to go and we're there now. But the signs you should look for probably your goats. Your goats will generally look unthrifty. Typically the first thing you see is some diarrhea that won't cure up. And um, the gums, if you look at the gums of the goat, they'll be real pale because they're losing blood. This causes anemia. Look around the eyes, the brown around the eyes, that will become pale and anemic looking. So. And sometimes in worst case scenarios, you see a big knot underneath the chin. That's where the worm load is building up. But how do we address this? We've got two or three wormers that we have used typically over the years, but now we've got something called Cydectin, which is Moxidectin. That's, that seems to work. In some cases, that'll work if you never had it on your, on your place. Moxidectin comes in two or three forms. Uh, you can buy, if you've got just two or three goats, you can buy a horse wormer. It's a tube, it's the same kind of medicine. You don't have to spend $80 for something that's going to worm 200 goats. We've also got, now don't buy ivermectin, don't buy Safeguard. Those things are not effective against Hamacus contortus. We see a lot of confusion in the marketplace. People come saying they, they wormed with a certain wormer. It does not work. They said, well, it says goat wormer on there. That doesn't mean it's going to work. These, these things are, have been rendered ineffective. As the, as the worms mutate. We're also using one called Levambasol phosphate, which is Levamed. You sell this, you mix this with water and you drench it. You use a drench gun and shoot it down their throat. This is working very, very well. So, when you worm your goats, just worm them where they're staying. If you can rotate your pastures, keep the water clean, keep the feed, keep everything clean, that's the best way to combat these things. And when it dries up again, we'll probably we'll get out of this late slit epidemic. Thank you. Good luck.